Language Journeys. Practice Spoken English for Intermediate. Lesson 1, Edinburgh. Welcome back to Language Journeys, Exploring Cities and Cultures. Our intermediate lesson takes us through Edinburgh with Tina and Giovanni, focusing on more complex sentences and cultural insights. At St. Giles's Cathedral. Tina and Giovanni visited St. Giles's Cathedral and were curious about its history. Practice Dialogue Giovanni, can you tell us about the history of this cathedral? Guide Certainly. It dates back to the 14th century and is known for its beautiful stained-glass windows. Lunch at a Scottish Restaurant for lunch, they decided to try traditional Scottish dishes. Giovanni was adventurous with his order. Practice ordering. Giovanni. I'd like to try haggis, please. What's it made of? Waiter. It's a traditional dish made of sheep's heart, liver and lungs, mixed with oats and spices. Exploring the Royal Mile. Walking down the Royal Mile, they were fascinated by the street performers and the architecture. Practice Conversation Tina Look at the architecture of these buildings. How old are they? Local Some of these buildings are hundreds of years old and have many stories to tell. At the Scottish National Gallery They ended their day at the Scottish National Gallery admiring the artwork. Practice Dialogue Tina This painting is stunning. Can you explain its significance? Guide Of course, this piece is by a famous Scottish artist and reflects the country's rich history and landscapes. New words for intermediate learners Stained glass Coloured glass used to form decorative or pictorial designs, especially in church windows. Traditional Existing in or as part of a tradition, long established. Architecture The art or practice of designing and constructing buildings. Significant Sufficiently great or important to be worthy of attention. Noteworthy. Intermediate tips. Try to engage in deeper conversations about history and culture. Explore idiomatic expressions and their meanings. Practice describing your experiences and what you've learned in detail. Conclusion. Tina and Giovanni's journey through Edinburgh helped them to improve their English and learn about Scottish culture and history. Keep practising and remember to explore the stories behind the places you visit. Join us next time for more language and cultural adventures. Edinburgh Poem. Give it a try. In the heart of Scotland's lands lies Edinburgh with open hands. Castles, cafes, tales so grand, a city where history stands. Wander through the cobbled streets, where every corner history greets. From the castle high above, to cosy pubs that locals love. A wee word here, a smile there, warmth and kindness everywhere. In Edinburgh's embrace we find, the joy of learning intertwined. CTA. If you have got value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you will be informed when any new Language Journey video gets released. See you on the next one.